everyone, and welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, home of the Bayou Bengals and the stadium called Death Valley since the late 50s. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Mississippi State Bulldogs, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. And he takes this from inside the five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Bulldogs offense will have the first possession of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, they'll keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. On the ground, it's Booth. Breaks the tackle. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's able to fight his way for a couple of yards, but it'll be fourth down and three. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Looking for a block. It's Thomas. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The LSU Tigers offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. LSU getting set on first and ten. Pulls and fires complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 
Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, if you're a quarterback in that situation, you know there's nowhere to go, so just cut your losses. You're right. Absolutely. Slide. Don't take the extra punishment. You just give up on the play. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? Off the RPO. Fire right. Trying to convert. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They'd hope to get him in space, create running room, and there just wasn't anything there. Yeah, I love the third down aggressive, in-your-face defense, not giving you any room to run down the field. Great job by the defense. They saw the throw, the quick pass, reacted to it, got him on the ground for a loss. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Just trucks through it. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The give out of the gun. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They got him at the 42, but he got five yards on the play. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. On the ground, it's Booth. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Quick pass on the fly motion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road you have got to show up and play your best football in games like this and running backs are so good so talented so elusive you see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss run you over unbelievable effort nice job you keep that going you're gonna be hard to stop and the bulldogs are on the move To the ground, he's got it again. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They'll run the option. The pitch. 
And they'll ride him down, but not before he picked up the first down. And how about the timing on that pitch? Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing them. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And they've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The Bulldogs trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Mississippi State! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They march 72 yards, and what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Pressure coming. Takes a shot as he lets it go. Pulls it in. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a really nice job holding that pass in. And you think LSU has just been such a breeding ground in recent years for receivers. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, OBJ, Jarvis Landry. They all have the ability to make a play anywhere on the field. And that's what this guy can do. You can line him up anywhere. He can run routes at all three levels of the secondary. The defense has to know where he is lined up every single play. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. Pass the 40. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. Oh, I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. LSU right back to the line. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. And the ball is intercepted. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. Line gets set, first down. They'll give it to the back. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. It, it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. 
from the gun, wants to pass. He's going to take off. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Mississippi State really efficient on offense right now. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll go to the toss. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw. It's shaping. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. With the catch, it's Lacey. Quick step and go. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. LSU quick to the line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Lacey. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them onto the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. 
And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Oh, and the offense just not able to come up with that. You knew that was going to be a bang-bang play, right? They're taking a shot into the end zone. That's going to have to be a contested catch on the back end. But he wasn't able to come up with it because of the hit. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. That's caught. It's Taylor. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. He'll just keep slinging it. Let's it fly. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown by you, Bengals. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10-7. to seven. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They're going to open this drive with a pass. A strike downfield. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. To the air. It's Shapen. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires deep toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll start the return inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. And that pass is intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Well, 
Well, this drive probably won't help them pile up yards, but they could get points quickly, starting it with a first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Shapen. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Bulldogs! That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for the big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. On first down, here comes this offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. going to wrap up the first half here and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much guys and I need not tell you rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion and no surprise we saw just that in the first half today and it's been said football is a game of inches and guess what based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Mississippi State will put a foot to it to crank up the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. The give is to Williams. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. LSU right back to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught near the sideline, it's Thomas. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. 
Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Shapen. Back open in the middle. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Defense has to do a better job affecting the quarterback, guys, on money downs. Third down, you've got to be able to affect him, and the pass pro that time was just way too good. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. And I like having matchups outside like this. Guys that I know will win right away. Third down, find my guy, get him the rock. He gets the first down. Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. Toss sweep. Try to get it outside to the right. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Just feeds the running back. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldog! Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And the house call coming on the run from the 23. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Smashes ahead. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Off the play fake on first down to throw. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Just about any LSU offense will make you hold your breath when they play pitch and catch. Yeah, just such elite playmakers usually, just such speed. And listen, when you're a defense, speed kills. And LSU, no matter who plays quarterback, they always got dudes that can fly out wide that absolutely scare them. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the ground with the back. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. 
I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Off the RPO, complete. Oh, it's on the ground. Five ball. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. He'll do it himself. Hard running there. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. That was an exceptional read by the quarterback. And I think it's very underrated when you say, oh, just stick it in the belly of the running back and we're just going to read it. Well, the quarterback doesn't know if the running back's taking. The running back doesn't know if the quarterback's taking. A nice job sticking in there, reading it really quickly, the QB jetting and taking off. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Finds a crease at the 20. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. On to attempt the try. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he finished things off with that 36-yarder for a score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Wide receiver shows motion. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Touch pass on the run. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth game if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Looking for a block, it's Thomas. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O.
They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. On the run, it's Nussmeyer. Complete to the left. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. And yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. A jet sweep pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. And now on second down for this offense. He wants to throw it again. Got it set up on the outside. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Well, it's fourth and short, and you're sort of in no man's land at this point near midfield. I think if you're on offense here, you're going to have to go for it. You're going to have to show confidence in your guys to get it done and go get you the win. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. They're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. From the gun, running back gets to give. Runs through a tackle. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. That'll be enough to give Mississippi State a fresh set of downs. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. And the Bulldogs getting set on first and ten. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Quarterback on the keeper. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. 
Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. I really like what I see from this offense with the lead in the fourth quarter, and they're moving the sticks. This is now the sixth play of the drive, and they've been able to stay on, bleed clock. They want to just continue doing exactly what they're doing right now. They'll give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Wide receiver now comes in motion. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Might as well keep pounding that rock at this point in the game, even though it's second and 12. From the gun, give on the inside. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt running it back it's Thomas pretty solid coverage there and they'll stop him at the 26 the Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field you want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive David that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. and listen important is a relative term we need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Makes the grab. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle, it's Williams. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. What a great job by the quarterback working through his progressions here. In a two-minute situation, he doesn't force it down the field if it's not open. Check it down to your back. Let him go to work, and he comes up with a huge play. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. And they fail to hook up on third down. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got his man quickly. They'll stop him short just what they needed as they get the ball back for their offense. And the quarterback's just going to take a knee. 